Hi folks, DMX Lecture here. Today we're gonna talk about what a homeowner need to know about the electrical load calculation. So first, what is the load calculation? The electrical load calculation actually is an estimate of a realistic situation, the electrical usage of a property with a safety margin. So it calculated based on the knowledge and the experiences and the pure calculation of certain type of appliances and equipment. This calculation result is used to size the main and sub electrical service. Electrical panel, a meter box, utility service cable, and consumer service cable, etc. So when you need to do the load calculation, according to the code, any electrical alternation, which may increase your electrical power consumption, you need to submit a load calculation form to local authority. For example, if you want to add a solar system, you want to do some uh, basement renovation, you want to add a secondary suite, like basement suite, garden suite, garage suite, and then you need uh, to install an electrical vehicle charger. When you want to add an air conditioning, or you want to install a hot tub or a swimming pool. So what code and regulation we need to follow to do the load calculation? In Canada, we follow the Canadian Electrical Code, the CEC 2021 version. And in the United States, I believe, you guys should follow the National Electrical Code. But for the same time, you also need to check the state, provincial, and the territory requirement because like, the different provincial may require different things. Also check with the utility company, see if they have some other requirements. So back to the load calculation. We here use the single dwelling as an example to do the load calculation. I'm assuming if you need a load calculation, you either live in a single house, a duplex, semi-detached, or a row house or townhouse. I don't think you need a load calculation for apartment unless you want to do a electrical vehicle charger or something. So take single dwelling, for example. The load calculation includes several parts. So the first, the red color, is the basic load. The second, third, and fourth is air conditioning, the direct water heating, and the EV charger. After that, it's the fixed heating load, like a baseball heater, space heater, kind of thing. The last, the electric range, dryer, like hot water tank, we call it additional load. So they are categorized in four different scenarios. So for the basic load, you cannot change anything because it's purely based on what kind of a property you have and size of the property. So when we calculate the size, we take 100% of the size above the grid, 75% of the size below the grid, and different uh, <clears throat> uh, authority may think, you know, the air is the floor area, and some people may say, oh, it's carpet area. How about the stairway area? Check with your local authority. I cannot give you a clear answer. Uh, once you have the size of your property, for the first 90 square meters, that is according to our Canadian Electrical Code, you need 5,000 watts for the basic load. And next, 0 to 90 square meter, you need additional 1,000 watts. And here, take for example, if your house, the main floor is 100 square meter, the second floor is 120 square meter with a basement of 100 square meter. The total area will be 100 p 
plus 120 plus 75 percent of the basement area gives you 295 square meters. And 295 equals 90 plus 90 plus 90 plus 15. So the first 90, you need 5,000. The second third, you need another 2, 1,000 watts. And for the last one, even if it's only 15 square meters, you still need another 1,000 watts. So in total, you need 8,000 watts. Then we talk about the 100% load which is the air conditioning, the direct water heating system, and electrical vehicle charger. So for air conditioning, they always calculate 100% of the uh, rated power. For the direct water heating system, they mean the tamplex water heater or the water heater for steamer, swimming pool, hot tub, and sauna, that kind of thing. So you always need 100% of the load. And for electrical vehicle charger, the code size, you always need 100% load. So if you have those three kind of a load, you always calculate 100% of the rated power. Now move on to the fixing heating load. When we talk about the fixed heating load, we talk about the baseball heater or space heater. We don't talk about the portable heater anymore. It's like you have a 1.5 kilowatts portable heater in your bedroom. It doesn't count. For the heat, fixed heating load calculation, we calculate 100% of the first 10 kilowatts and the 75% for the remaining. So for example, if you have a 24 kilowatts baseball heating system, we take 100% of the first 10 kilowatts, which is 10 kilowatts, plus 24 minus 10 times 75% gives you 20.5 kilowatts. So you can see even you have a, a 24 kilowatts baseball heating system, you counting only 20.5 kilowatts for your load calculation. And then we move on to the electric range dryer and hot water tank. The reason why I put those three together because they uh, follow the same uh, principle when you do the electric load calculation. Uh, most uh, common thing, you have a single electric range. So either you have a smaller uh, electric range under 12 kilowatts or you have a bigger one, you use either A, 6 kilowatts for any electric range from 0 to 12 kilowatts, or you calculated 6 kilowatts plus 40% of kilowatts over 12 kilowatts. So either you have a bigger electric ring or the smaller one, you get the kilowatts, then you plus 25% of your dryer and hot water tank. This is not the the template one is hot water tank, storage water tank. Say, how about you have like two electric ranges, like one in the main floor and one in the basement. If this uh, property is not a secondary suite, like two or more electric range is deemed as one electric range. So you simply add them together. So for the <clears throat> from uh, 0 to 12 kilowatts, you counted only 6 kilowatts. Anything over that, you times 40%. And same thing, you plus 25% of the dryer and hot water tank. How about you don't have any electric range in your house? Then you have to calculate to add the dryer and hot water tank output together. If it's over 6 kilowatts, you take 6 kilowatts plus 25% of anything exceeding 6 kilowatts. If it's less, just use the total number. And then we're talking about uh, the minimum requirement. So the minimum requirement for a single dwelling, which considering not include the basement, 
If the residence is over 80 square meter above the grid, you need 24 kilowatts for your residence. If it's less than 80 square meters, you need 16 kilowatts. And what the load calculation will affect you if you have a different result. So if you have a bigger load calculation result, you may have to change the utility service, which is the line from the utility company to your house. It might be the overhead service, which is easier, or the underground service, which is way more difficult. Also, you need to think about change the consumer service conductors. Not only the conductors, but also the conduit. Say if you have an overhead service, you may need to change the mast conduit size from a one inch and a quarter maybe to two inches. And you also need to change the uh, EMT PVC conductor uh, conduit size from the meter base to your main electrical panel, also the conductors inside. You may also upgrade a meter box from <clears throat> 100 amps meter box to 200 amps meter box, all called meter socket. And you may also need to change your main electrical panel from a single phase 120, 240, 100 amps panel to maybe 150 amp panel. And like if you cannot do the service upgrade, you may have to install a load distribution system, but this is different case by case. You need to check with your local authority. It's basically called the load miser. So if you don't have enough power or for your system, you can use the load miser to balance your load. Say if you have a electrical vehicle charger, you can load miser together with a range or a dryer. So anytime you cannot use the two loads at the same time, that may be a, another option for you. So that is uh, the short description of the electrical load calculation for single dwelling in the United States and in Canada. If you have any question, please ask. Um, please subscribe my channel. Thank you. Have a great day.